Look at it. Look at him. He's. Oh. Oh. Robert of Coastal GX. We're out here at South Padre Island, Beach Axis 6, here with my friend Ray. And today, what we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be doing a nice little challenge, aren't we, Ray? Yes, we are. Tell me, what are we gonna be doing? We're gonna see how far we go in a full side truck, full of gear, to these cut on two wheel drive. That's right, guys. Is it possible? Two wheel drive, is it possible? We're gonna be asking the question is it possible to make it to the East Cut? I'm not just saying just the jetties. I'm saying west of that on two-wheel drive. He's got a 4x4 F-150, really kind of stock. I mean, it's only got, you know, the aftermarket uh, uh, all-terrain tires on it, but there's nothing special to it. He's going to disengage the 4x4. I'm going to follow him. He's going to make it all the way to all, all the way up north, and we're going to see, we're going to come to certain spots and see where it's going to get a little tricky. Most importantly, we're gonna see if we can make it all the way west there when we reach the jetty. So it's gonna be interesting. Now, this is something that the viewers have been asking about, and that's why we're doing it. A lot of you are gonna be commenting, well, yeah, you can do it, or you can't, or whatever. That doesn't really matter, okay? We're gonna give it a try right now and see how it goes. <laughs> the water as much as possible. Okay guys, so we just took off from mile marker one right here at the Beach Axis 6. Uh, and uh, as you can see right now, it's really gloomy because of the sand coming from the Saharan Desert and uh, everybody knows about that. So it's, yeah, it's, it's not fog. This is actually that dust, that Saharan dust that uh, made its way finally to the Rio Grande Valley. But um, so following Ray right here, and I have a camera fixed on him. And of course I have my dash cam over here that's gonna be able to catch uh, the action as he's uh, driving up north. But the whole thing was, the whole you know, goal of this was to be able to prove or, or disprove if you can go ahead and drive north uh, with two wheel drive, cause that's what people have been asking and so we wanted to put this on video and see how far we can go. And it's important to remember guys that it all depends on the conditions, right? Depends on the weather, on the high tide situation, how soft the sand is. And uh, it's been raining these uh, few days. So the sand is gonna be a little more compact. So it's gonna make it easier for a two wheel drive vehicle to be driving here. Um, but we're gonna keep on going and uh, let's see, let's see how our friend Ray does with his driving today. We're at mile marker five. I'm going to that side right there too. We're just passing mile marker five, uh, like Ray said, but um, yeah, don't be fooled by the conditions right now. This is not typical and and you know it, it varies I guess so you can ask somebody and they'll swear to you oh you can always make it on two-wheel drive and then you can talk to someone else and say are you kidding me you can't even get past the entrance in two-wheel drive and I've seen that myself you know during the winter months but it all depends on the condition so when somebody asks hey you know can you do this no I, you know it, it depends you know, there is no yes, there is no no, but technically you could, you know. I always tell people technically you can. Would I recommend it? Probably not. Yeah, the high tide's supposed to be coming in right now, actually. I'm up to some loose sand here. I'm trying to get 
try to avoid the water. I don't like driving through the water. Let's see what happens. Guys, so check it out. You see, all these people are fishing here, which is forcing the vehicles to go on the softer side or soft sand side. And this is the stuff that most people do not prepare for. Uh, they think that they're going to be driving on hard packed sand all the way, and it's not always uh, the, the case. Slow and easy work because the tire's not digging into the sand. <laughs> And so the thing is that, you know, there's plenty of traction. The sand's not that loose, but in other situations, you know, if they're forcing you to go, if they're forcing you to go a little bit higher, closer to the dunes, you're gonna encounter some of that softer sand. Okay guys, it's getting real soft right here as uh, Ray is approaching the east cut. And, um, but this is awesome. He made it all the way to the east cut, to the jetties actually, on two wheel drive. But the real test is gonna be once we reach the jetties and we try to go west along the canal, along the Port, Me uh, Port Mansfield uh, channel rather, and uh, that's what we're gonna see because it, the sand gets really soft. There's a there's a section there that's really, really soft. So it'll be interesting to see. Okay guys, you made it all the way. There's the, there's the East Cut Jetties. There's, there he is right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of position the camera. So what, what was your experience coming over here, man? I've always activated the full of high on my vehicle, just in case. My two wheel high, I felt the back wheels all shifting. The short line ends here because of the rock, the jetty. So we have to go west. Okay, he's going for it. He's going for it. Oh, he's taking a, he's not taking the, the established path. He's gonna take another path, but it's all good. You know? Look at him, look at him. He's, oh, oh, oh. No, didn't do it. Didn't do it. That's as far as she went. Robert, this is what happened the last time somebody got stuck. <laughs> Ray says, this is what happened the last time. Somebody <laughs> got stuck. So, be careful out here. Yeah, we're always That's talking about trash. Spot. So, this, spot, so. this looks like a two-wheel drive vehicle right here, too, man. This, uh, look at this. These are the remains, the remains of a car. And that was last weekend. <laughs> and that that's how fast the corrosion works around here this car has uh, only been here for about a week <laughs> the sand is very soft look at it i mean i only weigh like 90 pounds right but <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah the sand is very soft and uh, that's what you wrote here it was doing pretty well over there in the beginning uh -huh. in the, in the uh, sand that wasn't disturbed because it was kind of i guess my truck was light and it was going okay, but yeah. as soon as I start to uh, give more gas, the 
tires start to dig into the sand and that's where the bottom is. As you can see right there. He's going to, what he's going to do, he's going to put an engage it on 4x4. Four four. <clears throat> like I said, this was a demonstration to see how far we could go on two wheel drive. It all depends on the conditions. And as Ray experienced right here, Ray's been doing this for a long time, by the way. Ray, as a matter of fact, Ray and I, we became friends after episode two, where uh, we were racing against the high tide. Make sure you check my video. That's the second episode that I ever did here. And that is the same pickup truck that made it through there. So he's been coming out here for many, many years, dozens of times. He's a very experienced driver when it comes to that. But, you know, as you see right here, it only took a little bit, a few, uh, a few yards, you know, in order for this to happen. So as a matter of fact, even when I came out, if you take a look over here where Sandy is, when I got off the rails, when I got off the, the, the path, you know, even this one started to get a little, uh, a little iffy over here. Nothing's gonna happen, trust me, like she'll get out of anything pretty much. But he's gonna engage four by four right now and he's gonna get it going. If for some reason it still doesn't want to do it because he's he's starting from a static position and it's going to be harder for him to get out right now he doesn't have that luxury right uh to to uh, carry the momentum with him but we're going to go ahead and get some video of him trying to get out, wanna get out you want to try it with four by four first i'm going to turn the four by four on and uh we'll see what happens Sir, go for it. Just like that. That was easy. And Sandy. Sandy, it's the same thing. It's a Ford thing. <laughs> he says it's a Ford thing. I, I can say it's a Lexus thing too, man. Uh, it's a it's a it's a driver thing along with a vehicle thing, right? You know, if uh, you got a capable driver and, and, we're up. and a capable vehicle, that's all you need. Good job, Ray. And there you go, guys. Just like that. So it is possible to make it all the way to the jetties. It's a little more difficult to cross or to head west. It's this little section right here that's a little more, that's a little harder to deal with. enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider subscribing, liking, and dropping a comment. Your support helps the channel and encourages me to keep bringing you more content. Here are some other ways you can support the channel. Use my Amazon links in the video description below. Your purchase will cost you nothing extra and the channel earns a small commission. We are also selling some limited edition Coastal GX fishing shirts and buffs. They are UPF 50 and will keep you feeling cool outdoors. Much more content coming your way. Get up, get out, do something.